hello, hello. I am back once again. Vic here of EU's Market Biz, bringing you the latest updates on cryptocurrencies. But for today, I am going to discuss um, further the, um, some of the frequently asked questions about Initiative Q. So yesterday, um, I discussed about joining Initiative Q, sign up, and verification, and of course, obtaining queues. Okay. So in this video, I am going to discuss the Q payment network behind Initiative Q and the Q's versus crypto, or the difference of Q's versus crypto. Okay. So before I start, um, go start the discussion. Let's or um, before I start reading it, um, let's um, explore. Uh, I mean, let's read what. Is Initiative Q once again? So Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future. So the Q payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible, easy to use, and inexpensive payment network. So these technologies have been available for years, but have not been adopted due, due to a classic chicken and egg barrier. So no buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses. Okay, so Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free. Right? Okay, so let's go to the Q payment network. So some might be asking what are the advantages uh, of the Q payment network so here is your answer so over the last few decades many advances in payment systems have been devised but they have not been made available since they are only valuable once they are widely adopted true the chicken and egg barrier or problem rather so Initiative Q's distribution incentives solve the adoption problem, thereby offering one global network that integrates many of these breakthroughs such as low transaction costs, a streamlined digital process with better fraud protection means fewer costs, um, a universal currency and one global system, one address for all financial needs, cutting edge measures to ensure secure transactions, okay, so these are examples of fingerprint, voice and face recognition, multi-factor authentication, and advanced AI models, okay? Simplicity and user friendliness, so one click payments, no need to carry cash or cards, right? So customer protection, so using internal regulations and buyer feedback to prevent sellers from misrepresenting their products and pricing. Okay, so reversibility and efficient dispute resolution, so easy online claims process to ensure user confidence. So optimal credit allocation using richer information and more advanced models to correctly assign credit to lenders. Or rental control, so sub-accounts that allow parents to control children's expenses, helping the unbanked. So connecting to the world economy, economy, the billions who don't have access to financial services, right? Okay, so to see the complete description, um, here's their vision paper, right? So... The next one is why will Initiative Q succeed where others haven't? Okay, so since payment systems involve the network of buyers and sellers, and new technology only brings value once it is widely adopted. So buyers first want to see many sellers offering it, and vice versa. There have been many great payment technologies developed over the years, but they have failed to gain universal acceptance due to a barrier. I mean, to this barrier rather. So Initiative Q's innovation is in leveraging the future value of Q itself to incentivize its widespread adoption. So their unique reward system encourages users to become early adopters and opens the door to adoption of major breakthroughs in the payment industry. Okay, so what can you do with your reward queues? Okay, so once the system is functional, the queues reserved for you will be released gradually and you will be then be able to use them for any kind of payment of exchanges versus purchases sales rentals investments and etc okay so when will i be able to use my reward queues right so the reward queues reserved for you will be released gradually distributing all the queues at the same time would flood the market and devalue the currency 
Therefore, once the system goes live and begins to grow, only a set of proportion of one's reserved queues will be available for spending. The rate at which queues are released uh, will be regulated to maintain a stable exchange rate of around one queue per one dollar. While also incentivizing economic growth, queues may be granted sooner to members in some locations to accelerate the creation of local queue-based economies. All right. So, are your queues, queue transactions private? Can anyone see them? So, initiative queue is designed to succeed as a mainstream payment network, which means fully complying with all laws and regulations. Transaction information on the queue payment network will be handled similarly to how current payment and banking networks operate, wherein the bank maintains all transaction records, but must safeguard the data and cannot share it with outside parties unless required to do so by law. Okay, so how much is one queue? Worth in USD, so it is worth one Q, um, one Q to one US dollar, right? So once it is released, right? So what is your estimate of the Q value based on? So the reasoning behind the estimated future value of the Q payment network can be summarized as follows. There are eight. So the first one is the payment network. The payment world is stuck with decades old technologies, and so it is very difficult. To buy buyers to adopt a new technology that has not sellers don't yet support and vice versa so number two initiative queue solves the problem by compensating early adopters with future currency number three this currency ha uh, this enables the building of a payment network that is far superior to the current ones okay so number four a payment network that is both superior technologically and widely adopted would be preferred by both buyers and sellers Number five, it is a realistic, I mean, it is realistic to expect that such a network would eventually overtake payment cards, which account for $20 trillion in annual transactions. Right, so the total amount of money in the world is roughly half the world's annual economic activity. The value of all Q currency could thus reach half of the Q's annual volume. Okay, so that's $10 trillion. So an alternate Alternative data point is the value of cryptocurrencies which peaked at nearly one trillion dollars despite hardly being used for real payments. Okay. So number eight, um, therefore the total future value of queues could reach a few trillion dollars. Since there are currently two trillion queues, the goal of one US dollar per queue is achievable. Okay, so what happens if not enough people sign up? So in this initiative queue needs many committed users to ensure a meaningful network of buyers and sellers. If a critical mass is not reached, the project will may not go forward. Because the rewards are only valuable once and the system is functional, it is in everyone's interest to get others to join. Right? So that is for the queue payment network. So let's move on to behind initiative queue. So who is behind initiative queue? So initiative queue was founded by Sa'ar Wilf, a serial entrepreneur who started his first payment startup in 1997 and later founded Fraud Sciences, which redefined the payment security space and was acquired by PayPal in 2008. The Initiative Q team comprises, I mean, comprises top experts in payment systems, macroeconomics, and internet technologies. The idea behind Initiative Q is to first create a critical mass of users which can then be harnessed to create the world's best, best payment network. Therefore, currently our primary focus is to get millions of queue members registered, after which we will recruit the world's top professionals in the space. Okay, So what is the monetary committee? So a global currency should not be controlled by one private company. Therefore, an independent monetary committee will be appointed via voting by all members and stakeholders in the queue payment network. The committee will only issue new coins for the purpose of maintaining stability and increasing adoption, similar to how the world's largest currencies are managed. Okay? So who are Q agents? So Q Initiative Q will focus on the technology standards and regulation of the payment system while delegating the financial operation to hundreds of local agents. Right? So the local agents will be responsible for customer service and safeguarding members' funds, connecting local stores, legal compliance, and settling with other agents. So agents compete with each other to manage member accounts, buyers or sellers, and receive a small fee for transaction they process. Together they enable the Q payment network so 
to be a truly global system with local branches providing individualized support and access okay so how many queues are there who holds them so two trillion queues will be issued to be distributed as far as follows so 80 percent will be distributed as incentives 10 percent will be um distributed to the pair queue payment parent parent uh, payment company and 10 percent will be assigned to the queue monetary committee monetary reserves right so queues versus crypto lastly right so um here it is the much awaited so how is this different from bitcoin and cryptocurrency so cryptocurrency is a brilliant solution to a problem that doesn't exist cryptocurrency is digital money that is hard to counterfeit while the mathematical foundation is ingenious and immutable money lender is far from being a major need today our money is already digital in the form of bank computer records and no one is worried worried that these records will suddenly disappear this is due to the robust system of trust and governance that protects individuals from such risks right okay so there are four um dislike on the okay dislike on the complex system okay so while many dislike this complex system rather it works reasonably well and there's still no better alternative in fact the answer counterfeiting measures that cryptocurrencies offer create an array of much worse problems right so these are their problems so number one is transferring security risks to the currency currency owners uh, number two is unstable value number three is legal legal controls number four is reversibility and number five is waste okay so those were the five problems um, that differentiate cryptocurrency and queues okay so is this an ICO no ICO is or initial coin offering is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe the public sale of newly issued coins um, initiative Q's goal is to become the standard in payment system and to create a global currency that requires adoption by hundreds of millions of members which will not happen if they are required to pay Q's pay rather so Q's will therefore be distributed for free so how is this def different from an airdrop so airdrop is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe free distribution of coins while initiative Q will be distributed free uh, will distribute free currency that by itself is not enough to revolutionize payments it can only succeed in synergy with two other actions rather so requiring requiring members to undertake simple tasks to qualify for the rewards number two development of a state of the art system okay so initiative Q is not a cryptocurrency which allows it to avoid the many shortcomings of cryptocurrencies okay so those were the frequently asked questions on the Q payment network behind initiative Q and the Q's versus crypto so as you can see the difference between Bitcoin and cryptocurrency versus script um, Q's so it is not uh, an ICO rather because it does not um, you are not required to pay it's distributed for free and it is not also um, an airdrop because there's um, um queues can only succeed in synergy synergy with two other actions as stated here um it, number one is requiring members to undertake simple tasks to qualify for the rewards so that it lose um promote wide scale adoption for queues for the benefit of all the members so here's um another link all right and also a uh, development of a state-of-the-art payment system okay so guys, um, that are the frequently asked questions. If you want to um, watch my previous video where I read joining initiative queue, the sign up verification and the and obtaining queues, um, the frequently asked questions or the facts about that, then please do watch my previous video. But in this video I discussed or read about the queue payment network beyond initiative queue and queues versus crypto. So guys, if you want to register uh, on Initiative Q, use my invitation link below at the description. So it's in the description, and also please take your uh, please take your time to also press on the or visit the links in my description. 
because those links are very very important or very very useful for you guys so I think that's it so here's another link okay so if you're an EOS um, a holder trader or investor then this is the right telegram group for you it's called EOS podcast and video so this will keep you open the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS so join this telegram group guys and also um, download lumios.io and because lumios.io will reward you with crypto by doing social service on a blockchain and give by giving feedbacks okay and also guys preferred currency news. please don't forget or please keep note of this website where you subscribe for only $15 a month or $180 a year so if you want to pay it annually you can do so but it's just for $180 a year so um, you can do so, okay so you can use cryptocurrency for the subscription here as well by clicking coinbase and of course fiat by clicking paypal right so preferred currency dot news okay so please also watch my previous video where i focus on the newsletter that was sent to the subscribers some hours ago okay so as you can see um the links that are found in the newsletter is very very important especially the spreadsheet okay so the spreadsheet is very very nice guys um all, um, you can see that in, in that page um, the different coins and their technical analysis so all of the technical analysis of the coins are there and the ones that are colored in blue are the ones that are showing the best news so the ones they are the best ones so guys um, please um, visit FerdCurrency.news I'm sure you're going to enjoy and you won't regret that one okay and also you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep by clicking affiliate here at the website it's, it's here here is the website here is the affiliate homepage and register there okay here it is so that's it for today initiative Q and preferred currency dot news keep that in mind okay so I think that's it so sh just a short disclaimer um, guys before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, alright? Okay, so guys, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. So this is once again Vic, see you on the next video, bye bye.